Hello and welcome back to Ask Anushka. I hope, as always, that you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to look at why the narcissist or why toxic people hide themselves from you, why they have to create this illusion, why they have to lie to you, why they have to gaslight you, what's going on, why do they do that? And I really wanna unpack this in the video. So many of you have been asking me like, why does this happen? I can't understand it. Even when you leave that relationship, it leaves you kind of wondering, hold on a minute, why do these people do that? So in this video, I wanted to go deeper into understanding why these behaviors are so prominent with toxic people and why they need to hide from you. Okay, so the first thing that I would say is narcissists have a personality disorder. So that means that their personality is not stable over time. And what happens is that their entire identity is constructed by themselves to engage with the world in a way they want. They distract themselves from their deep-rooted insecurities and manipulate the other people in their lives. Their personality can be boiled down to one single diagnosis, which makes it easier to see how and why toxic people behave in such envious and unhealthy ways in the presence of someone who has character or someone who is quite kind and they are very understanding. So they milk that, they, they want that from that person, okay? So your authentic self is unfiltered, free from outside criticism. Your core personality that you tend to only show to people. And the reason why this happens is because they don't have an authentic self. They don't have a self that they can truly call their own. So their personality is very hidden. They don't know who they're what or who they are. This is simply because they mirror yours. They try to get you to believe in them, to believe someone who they are not, simply because they want to get that validation from you. So when we talk about the authentic self, this is your unfiltered, free from outside criticism, your core personality that you kind of show people who you trust or people who you can allow yourself to be vulnerable. The authentic self is not created or distorted by what people or society tell you to be. So this is your inner set of beliefs. This is your values that you live by, all right? And toxic people don't tend to have this because it changes over time. They're not stable over time. And this is why it's called a personality disorder because it's not the same all the time. It's just there to mimic what other people think or what that kind of group of people think. It's not what they truly think or behave like. So narcissists, because of their insecurities and their buried kind of self-hatred, they cannot be vulnerable with anyone and share their authentic selves with anyone, not even themselves, because they don't actually know who or what that is. They don't actually have a core understanding of who they are. So they can't share it with anyone. They can't come authentically to the table because they don't know what their authentic selves is. They don't know what that is. And so you see narcissists, they create this fantasy life and personality that everyone around them buys into it because let's face it, they are really good at pretending, they're really good at acting this because again, what they're doing is they're mimicking their outside or their environment so that they can fit in. And they transform themselves into a self-obsessed, they can be self-obsessed, they can be superior and manipulative in order to protect themselves from addressing how they really feel, from protecting themselves from other people seeing through this fantasy self that they are trying to create. And where that comes from is as children, they very quickly learned that they are not accepted 
as they are. So they got conditional love from their parents. And this really hurts a child when they don't get conditional love from their parents. So they've changed themselves so that they can be accepted by their caregiver or their parent. Now, this is problematic because what happens is you develop this kind of illusionary self. This, this is really um, ego processes that are going on here, okay? Because what you're doing is the ego is protecting themselves. This is a protective measure. That's why they create this illusion of themselves. So they've done this as children, but now as they've grown into adults, they do the same. This is why they mirror. This is why they love bomb. This is why they tell you what you want to hear and do what they want to do. But deep down, they feel ashamed. They're very depressed. Most of them are very depressed and they are afraid of abandonment. It is often that as a child, they were taught that they can get what they can if they act selfishly or children who have felt that their authentic self was not enough continue to form these strong relationships and reliance on their ego selves. So eventually the new ego takes over their authentic self and they kind of like they delude themselves into thinking that who they are is who they are and their their kind of exterior and arrogance is created to provide them with this protection from this emotional pain of abandonment you see this is the unconditional love that their parents have you know shown them and what happens is they will affirm to their false selves to themselves constantly telling themselves that they are the most fantastic person that has ever existed and that everyone loves them and everyone else is below them. And this is literally to feed the ego, okay? The ego is very hungry and it's always about protecting themselves and that's what the kind of messages they tell themselves. And again, as you can see, this is very disordered, very problematic. And this is not the same as having confidence, it's completely different. This is about feeding the ego, telling the ego that they are fantastic, that they are the most wonderful person. But you see, when the narcissist doesn't get enough reassurance, they then begin to become really manipulative because their ego berates them with insults. And what happens, narcissists, what they do is they serve their false selves and act to keep their ego happy because their ego is always hungry for that validation. And it's kind of like if you liken it to actors that play a part, particularly method acting. Narcissists have to believe the role that they are playing and they are really terrified that somebody will discover them, somebody will see through this and they will find out that they've had this really awful upbringing and and what they do is you see this veil between reality and fantasy is blurred and it makes it very difficult to navigate relationships with toxic people with narcissists because that's where they live they live in between reality and fantasy and because they're, they're living between their ego self, but the, the reality of what's going on, there's two different things. And so because when you're feeding the ego, when you're constantly feeding this hungry ego, you know, for validation, you have to keep telling itself that it's wonderful. And this is where they live in this fantasy world. They make others believe this kind of illusion, this fantasy of theirs. So how do narcissists create their masks? often because narcissists do not have their own identity and they want to try and draw in kind of like their next supply or their friends, narcissists will mirror you. This will be so that they convince you that they are so similar and that they are a perfect match with you. And once they've convinced you that you are both really compatible in this relationship, once they've got you, they then start to relax a bit. They then start to manipulate and because of this, all right, they don't know any other way to be because this is how they were treated as children. So all they're doing is reenacting that childhood into their adult relationships because that's how they relate. They don't know any other way to be. That's how they relate to other people. And you see what happens is then you take on this kind of roller coaster of emotion. 
and this is done so that it feeds their ego and their desires and you've got to understand that this is also used that the narcissist feels accepted desired admired you know this is all feeding the ego and if their supply if their partner is giving that to them their partner their friends or their family member is giving that to them they feel important they feel good about themselves and the thing is they never want to feel that they are not accepted because because of their feelings of abandonment they have low self-esteem and they often suffered as children so they pretended to be somebody else so this is again feeding that ego so when they are mirroring your personality they go on to manipulate you and this can feel like a huge and and this is basically a huge violation of trust it's almost like somebody is stealing your identity and you see our identities are so integral to our vulnerability and sense of self because this is who we are our personality is basically who we are and this is what so many people struggle with it's so hurtful when somebody literally steals you it's kind of like a copyright of your own personality and what happens is they use it against you they use your kind of personality they use your vulnerabilities your love your all your emotions against you and so you see my friends that's why the narcissist will hide themselves because they don't actually have a true authentic self they don't have a real self of who they actually are and you see that is what is quite problematic and it becomes really disordered and that's where the dysfunction really exists and it's it's really disappointing you know to really know that somebody like this exists and that you've been tricked into believing their fantasy or the kind of creation of reality and that's why a lot of people call it like smoke and mirrors because they're showing you one thing but the reality is something completely different and, and narcissists and toxic people live in this kind of world so i hope this gives you a little bit more information about why narcissists hide themselves and why they are doing what they are doing for and if you have a question for me get your specific question answered in a video all you've got to do is check the link below in the description box and if you would like to understand further how to build stronger boundaries and how you can protect yourself why not join the journal club here i tell you exactly how you can build an existing knowledge that you have and how you will not be affected by the behavior of someone else who omits this toxic behavior towards you this helps you to move forward this helps you to process emotions or if you would like to work one-to-one -one with me this is perfect for people who want to become more intentional about healing understanding past traumas and building on becoming emotionally stronger and all you've got to do is click the link in the description box below and that will give you more information guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one goodbye mm -hmm.